Hello guys, welcome back uh, to Christianity 101. This is the seventh in our series. Uh, we have been looking at uh, the book of Romans by the Apostle Paul. In the first chapter he says, we can all know there's a God just by looking outside and seeing creation and how amazingly this universe works. But many of us reject God and when we do, things get worse. The problems in the world uh, accumulate. Uh, the, the crisis uh, is cumulative. Then the apostle comes to the solution uh, in uh, chapter 5, and he writes, chapter 5, verse 20, the law was brought in so the trespass might increase. So when we have God's word, then we're made aware of our sins. But where sin increased, grace increased all the more. He says God's grace is greater than the cumulative crisis in the world. All our sins combined together, Christ's death on the cross is enough uh, to handle that. Now, uh, we're going to start in verse 1 of uh, Romans chapter 5. So I want to read just a couple verses for you, ask you a couple questions, and then I'll let you go on your way. But verse 3 in Romans chapter 5, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. Paul says we glory in our sufferings. You say, how can that be? How can you rejoice in your sufferings? Well, Paul says, well, some good things come out of it. Uh, character, perseverance. So I want you to just turn and share with people in your group. Maybe you're just with one other person. Maybe you're with your family. Maybe with your, with your community group. Uh, have you found that true in your life, that sufferings uh, bring good? Have they brought good in your life? Just share with each other. Could take a while if, if, if several people share. Thanks. All right, so Romans chapter 5, verse 8. This is a famous verse. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners... Christ died for us. While we had our backs turned toward God, we were sinning against God, God sent his son uh, to die for us. Now, ch chapter uh, 5, verse 12. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, and death through sin, and in this way, death came to all people, because all sinned. Uh, Paul introduces the doctrine of original sin. He says that the first human being uh, with God's image inside of him, Adam sinned, and when he did, sin came to all people. In uh, Psalm 51, 5, David says, I was sinful at birth. I was sinful from the time my mother conceived me. So turn to somebody in, in your group and discuss that. Do you agree that we're all uh, have sin from birth? Just talk about that for a minute. So the doctrine of original sin says that we all have sin from birth and it's spread to all mankind, so we all deserve to die. Um, so the doctrine of original sin actually helps us in dealing with people in the world. We're not surprised when people let us down, when bad things happen in the world. We realize... There's a reason for that. Uh, then chapter 5, verse 14, the Apostle Paul says, Nevertheless, nevertheless, death reigned from the time of Adam to the time of Moses, even over those who did not sin by breaking a command, as did Adam, who is a pattern of the one to come. So Paul's talking about Adam, the first sin. The question I want you to discuss is just turn to somebody. Uh, do you believe Adam was a historical figure, or do you think this was just a, uh, a kind of an allegory of the beginning of, of, of life? All right, so uh, Paul is showing us that he believes that Adam is a historical figure. Uh, the comparison wouldn't make any sense if he's comparing Adam and Jesus uh, 
they, both of them have to be equal in their historicity. Uh, many places in the Bible talk about Adam as the first historical creature. I'll talk more about this in my message coming up uh, this Sunday. But that's all I've got for now. Uh, have a good time discussing with uh, your, your friend or your family or your community group. Uh, have a great time. Then pray for each other. Uh, all right. See you guys.